welcome uh, our comrade Sammy Lewis this morning uh, from uh, Detroit. And she and a coalition were involved in a very significant struggle to prevent, listen to this, a woman on dialysis, stage four kidney failure from getting evicted from her home. Welcome, Sammy. We're so happy to have you this morning. Uh, tell us a little bit about what happened in Detroit the other day. Hi, can everyone hear me okay? Yes, we, we, we can hear you fine. Okay, thank you for having me. Um, this struggle has been ongoing for over two years. So I do wanna start by saying that it has been ongoing uh, within the legal system and outside of it as well, trying to mediate, trying to file complaints with the city and nothing has changed the events that obviously happened this past Tuesday. So the there was a new judge that had been assigned to the case um, just a couple months ago. And Miss Tara Brown, she had a hearing last month to finally be able to voice her own concerns and to be able to speak for herself. But still the judge had denied her reasonable accommodation um, and denied all of her motions to hopefully dismiss the case. And so he signed the writ for eviction and we did what we said we would and we defended that home. Um, the home defense was something that we've been preparing for for months, honestly, even years. And with that, we've had people ready to go, people taking shifts from 6 a.m. to 6 p.m. every weekday. Um, we've had people who have helped out behind the scenes, ready to film the events that had taken place. We had a strategy for what happens once the dumpster arrives and the bailiffs arrive, which was to send a mass text to, um, we had a, a service set up to send a mass text out, but then we also had an alert chat and we did that really quickly. Uh, we had tires that were in the backyard because to defend a home and when the dumpster arrives, what you can do is fill the dumpster so it can't be used. So we had all these tires that we were preparing to use for that. So I remember just making the call to everyone that was there saying, get the tires, get the tires, go, go, go. And after that, I was talking to the guy who brought the dumpster and I was like, do you have a heart? whose brother are you? Um, this is a woman who is terminally ill on dialysis. This is a black woman who's supposed to be your sister. And you could tell that it like got to him a little bit, but not enough for him to change his mind. So him and all of the other movers that were hired, they were a third party that was hired to basically be as aggressive as they possibly could with us because we have more than once said that we would defend that home and that if they were going to evict Tara, that it wouldn't be easy for them. So we held our ground for a really long time. I think three or four hours, we prevented them from being able to break into the home, which was a lot of violence that ensued in that. So a lot of us were thrown to the ground, being pushed around. Some of us were being choked. Um, I remember in the back of the house, because they kept trying be, uh, between the front and the back, um, I was pushed so hard into a corner of the house that uh, I remember having to stop for a second to make sure I could move all of my body parts because I hit my back so hard. Mm -hmm. um, so it was extremely violent, but overall, I just, I know that we did the right thing. And the violence was directed against you, peaceful people yeah. trying to pre to prevent a uh, woman on dialysis from uh, getting evicted. How many of there were you? Uh, whew, that's really hard to say. Uh, I I don't know. It everything was happening so fast, so it felt like that 
every time I look, there is just more and more and more of us. Um, I'd say like maybe 30 or 40. 30 or 40 people. Wonderful. And, and uh, you got it on film, though. We sure did. Yeah, we had uh, we had a press list. So also in the process of when the dumpster arrived, after I sent those mass texts for people to come out and support, I sent an email to the press contacts to have them come out, which uh, I had already sent them an email that morning because uh, Tara's house was actually shot at at 530 in the morning, conveniently half an hour before the home defense. So we think that what they wanted to do was scare her out, prevent us from from being there because we would be too scared to be there. But that's not at all what happened. What happens now, uh, Sammy? What, where where does the struggle go now? Well, now we are to, to talk about just how much state violence is involved with eviction and not just with Tara Brown's situation, not just when these paid movers are involved, but in all evictions. All evictions are an act of state violence. To remove somebody and displace them from their home and make them homeless is an act of state violence. So we are in a position to really uh, move the movement forward on that and call that out, as well as to call out the courts call out these landlords, call out the police who tolerated such violence and encouraged the violence and also participated. Um, I know that a lot of media sources are saying that the police didn't participate, but they they participated. Um, they threatened us. Some of them were uh, the ones that were actually choking home defenders, and they were ones the ones that threw us to the ground a lot of the times. Um, so we want to call out the police brutality that was witnessed as well. And we want to make sure that this doesn't happen again. Well, this story needs to be told far and wide. And we, we salute what you did. It's really important. Y'all went old school on them. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and we'll do it again, too. <laughs> uh, come we'll again. do it again. You, you do it we'll again. do it every single time that we have to. Fighting state-imposed violence. I think that's a very important point. And we're going to build uh, the broader people's movement in the course of doing this, you know? People are tired. We're not going to take getting evicted. We're not going to take getting our rights pushed aside. We're not going to be pushed around and pushed out. We're not gonna have our votes taken away from us. We're not gonna have our abortion rights taken away from us. You know, um, not gonna have our health care taken from us anymore. That's what's happening in this country now. And the uh, party of YCL in Detroit are helping lead that fight, not by themselves, but in, this was a coalition effort, wasn't it, Sammy? Yeah, it was a coalition. Um... There were multiple housing coalitions involved, uh, Detroit Eviction Defense, Detroit Tenants Association, and Moratorium Now. Well, uh, congratulations. Uh, we're, we're so proud of you. So happy that uh, you uh, uh, did it. 